Hi, and welcome to The Incredible Life of Cat. Today, <laughs> I'm tired, can you tell? Um, today, I'm gonna be doing a video for some of my favorites. I don't remember, I think it was about two weeks ago or so, maybe a month ago, I don't know, that I did my favorites, but I will share with you some things that I've been favoring. Not everything is a tangible item, if that makes sense. I do wanna say thank you to all my viewers and if you are new welcome to my channel i do a lot of bath and body works content a lot of hygiene content and i'm glad you joined us along for the ride because you know i've been doing this again since february of 2022 things have grown and i'm enjoying it so i'm happy that you're here if you want to you can subscribe down below that's all up to you so i'm just going to jump right into this i am doing a favorites video I know I'm repeating myself at this point. I don't know, this is kind of weird because I was going, I need to do a favorites video, but I didn't really write down what I wanted to do for my favorites. So I just walked around the house and grabbed a few things that I've been favoriting lately. So the first item is a non Bath and Body Works item. It is a foodie item and something I want to share with you guys. So I have, this is kind of funny. I've been watching some reviews on coffee makers i know it sounds dorky huh i thought about doing reviews in coffee makers but that's a little bit expensive and i had never actually tried duncan original blend like regular coffee i had tried the ice drinks and i think i've been to a duncan donuts maybe two or three times in my lifetime but i really did like this um not everyone does and i don't need the judgment if i like it that's kind of what matters this is a favorite of mine um this one is one that i ordered for pickup and what kind of peeved me a little bit I am using this up pretty quickly because the guy gave me one that had a crack in the top of it and I didn't know until after I got home and the whole point of me going to the store and doing a pickup at Walmart was to not spend my day at Walmart because I had a lot of stuff to do but I'm really enjoying this coffee it's good for just regular brew coffee I use this sometimes from time to time in the four-in-one coffee maker that I'm going to talk to you about i don't have the pamphlet or the box for it but i'll talk to you about it in a little bit what i'll do is probably either add to the video or i don't know i'll figure it out later but another non-food item that or non-bath and body works item that i've been favoriting that's kind of a foodie item is the hot cocoa mix from uh walmart the great value brand and normally i would do hot cocoa over milk and you know heat it up and everything else on the stove and this is quick and convenient and it's actually not bad i always go and use this in the keurig as a six ounce my daughter does an eight ounce and she likes it so i have to keep a lot of this on hand but we've really been liking this um as things have been getting cooler because here it doesn't just get cool it gets like icy cold when it gets cold at night so that's something we've been liking so the next item that i've been favoring that i have not finished yet that i might be finishing my problem is I keep losing it and then finding it and then losing it and then finding it is the Strawberry Pound Cake Lip Gloss from Bath & Body Works. I like their lip glosses. They're not super sticky. I find them to be smooth. They're nice. Um, hydrating, I still do use a chapstick, but I'll just throw this on every once in a while. And I've been loving this, so definitely would recommend. Another item that I haven't been using this week, but that I kind of, I pulled it from the shelf because I want to use it, is Bonfire Bash. I've really had a thing for this one lately. The notes are vanilla bourbon, creamy sandalwood, and cashmere musk. This is a really nice evening fragrance if you don't just have lavenders and stuff out. I'm really enjoying this one, so I'm hoping, I'm not going to say I'm going to use it up, but I'm really hoping to use it a couple more times this month. Another item that I have been favoring and kind of hoarding, I know I have two more, but I don't want to burn it all, is the Summer Boardwalk Candle. To me, I found this to actually work as a transitional candle. I like the waffly note and the apple -y note, I think it has. It has caramel glazed popcorn, warm taffy apples, and sweet cream, and it it's just nice. It's an overall, like, kind of baked apple-y fragrance. And I'm really enjoying it, so I thought about buying more off Mercari, but I really don't need to. Um, the other things that I've been enjoying that are favorites of mine is I'm really enjoying like the coffee maker reviews. 
I did buy two different coffee makers this month. One is a Keurig and it was pretty cheap and the other one was a four in one Mr. Coffee. Yeah, I can make like the cold foam or hot foam drinks. I can make lattes and things like that. Previously, years ago, back before Sitta was ever thought of, I did have an espresso machine from Starbucks. And the way I got that was it was one of those big expensive ones that they were trying to sell everybody back in like 2010 or something like that. And that store, or even before then, that store started shutting down because of the recession at that point. Maybe it was 2008, 2009. But um, when a friend of mine had a daughter that worked there and they gave her one, but they were like, we're never going to use this because we don't drink coffee. So they gave it to me and it worked, but you know, if a part started breaking, it was expensive to fix. And eventually I just ended up getting rid of it because I was tired of paying to fix for it. And I got it for free in the first place. So I think I donated it at some point, but it's really nice to have another coffee maker. I don't have to go, you know, have one that makes lattes and good lattes. I can use any kind of coffee I want to in that little basket, whether it's espresso or it's not, I can, you know, different measurements, make it stronger, make it lighter. And it's been really, joyful and nice when we go out on date nights we make our coffees at home before we leave during the day i don't have to leave and go to starbucks if i want a latte i can just make it there in the kitchen and it's really nice and it's affordable at target it's like 120 bucks so i'm really enjoying that coffee maker and the re reviews that i've been watching for additional coffee makers i'm not going to go buying them all because you know there's other things in my life but it was really nice to find Another thing that I've been enjoying watching is actually the cash envelope um, stuffing. I'm trying to remember the name of the guy, but the budget man, I forgot his name, but there's a lot of people that follow his budget where you cash stuff for all the things you're saving for. And it's not watching the cash that I'm liking. It's, you know, the technique, the thought put into it, what people are doing for their budgets and things like that. Um, I used to be like more hardcore into planners and things, and that kind of falls under that category. I do use my planner. Um, I've been using it for months and months just to help me out, making sure I've got YouTube set up the way I want it right now. But um, I've really been enjoying it and, it, you know, kind of helped me rethink um, my budget and things like that and kind of give myself a little bit of a challenge. And then no, that is also another part of my no buy for October is, you know, I want to save up so, you know, Miss Sita's birthday is in November and then we've got Christmas. So I want to save up a little bit of money and be very conscious about what I'm buying. I think my obsession has gone too far. So after watching the cash stuffing videos that I've been addicted to for some reason uh, with my favorites, um, you know, there's a lot of people doing challenges and what they do is they take a certain amount of cash and they put it in an envelope or put it away for later to save for things. So I am doing my own cash challenges while I'm on a no buy, but I started making Etsy listings of downloads. And one of them is for Bath and Body Works Savings Challenge. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> but if you guys are interested, I am gonna link my Etsy shop down below. I might start making these as a passive income. Doing these, I'll show you what they kind of look like when they're printed because you can download, it's an instant download. Download the file and yay. So this is what it looks like. You can color it in and you put $4 a day. And the other one is a Starbucks challenge, which is like seven bucks a day. Cause there are, I don't go to Starbucks $7 a, or $7, seven days a week. I was going a couple of days a week, but if your drink is like an average of seven bucks, that's a lot of money. So I did a Starbucks one too. But if you guys are interested, I'm going to link it down below. Please don't mind my mess for my PC. But yeah, I thought I would show this with you guys really, really quickly. Sita wants me to do one for a pet saving challenge because people have to save up money for instances with their pets or pet food or taking them to the vet and stuff. So I thought that, or purchasing a pet. And I don't like purchasing a pet, I like giving and rescuing, but that's just me but also put money away if you find a rescue or if you think you're gonna be rescuing a pet. But um, yeah, this is like my little setup here, but I just wanted to throw this in there. I know I'm, I'm turning into a nerd over here, but I thought I'd share this with you guys.
and I, th I thought about doing the envelope stuffing, but because of bank distance issues, it's kind of not, it wouldn't work. I'd have to do my own version of it. The only place that I can withdraw money for free that is near me is at Walmart when I'm doing a purchase. So I have to kind of keep that in mind. I would have to drive about 70 miles to go to my bank. We thought about switching banks, but we've been at the bank that we're at for like over 20 years and I already have my own system down with them and I know what their charges are and everything is relatively relatively free. I think maybe once, uh, once a quarter or something like that, we have a charge for our savings but that's it and it's not really that much. So I really don't want to change. Those are the things I'm kind of thinking of and I will make sure that at the end of this video I try to put in a picture of the coffee maker that I'm talking about. It is very reasonably priced and easy to use, very user friendly I would have to say. And it's definitely something that you guys might actually want to look into if you're trying to save a little bit of money because if you add up how quickly you can get to 120 bucks in Starbucks there are some people that spend that in like two weeks. Not me, but there are people that do. So look into it. And I think that's all I have for my favorites video right now. I know it wasn't very hygiene oriented, but I wanted to kind of share these things with you guys. And I am trying to broaden my horizons when it comes to my content. So I'll talk to you later. Bye.